Hi there, welcome to the Future Is Now event in Train Station 2. I'm Steve Boyko. Let's talk about this event that uh, has just started for uh, the, the Pixel Federation game, Train Station 2. Uh, it's a, kind of a different event in that you're going to have teleporting trains and uh, stuff like that. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So we've got the event has started. So you can see there's a new event icon here, a new competition icon. Over here, I've got two new jobs and the globe is showing me a little orange circle indicating there's a new map. So let's go have a look. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, we've got a new map unlocked. I will check it out. The future is now with a robot. So let's get into it and have a look. So this event has a big hyperloop and teleporting trains. So you can see in the middle, the, the loop is here. And uh, I've got some people who are competing for my attention. Uh, so this event has a couple of, uh, as usual, has a couple of event materials that you collect. Plasma and minerals. So let's go find those. Um, you can see there's these floating train uh, things around that you can click on and get stuff. So you can see I got a couple of uh, minerals right away. So if I scroll around somewhere, where do I see the minerals? Hmm. Sometimes the quickest way is to go to the map. You can see, oh, I think I have to unlock them. Yeah, so I, I have to unlock them first. So this is different. Normally I get the, the materials right away, but uh, here you've got to do these jobs first. So let's have a look. So uh, you've got this guy. Let's have a look at what he wants. Dr. Cyberhoff, and he needs the materials. So I need to ship him a bunch of uh, blue shirts. So that's cool. And I need to have more blue shirts. And so the, uh, the other guy, the robot here, Joe 11, he needs moonstones and he needs books, I guess, to read about moonstones, not sure. So I need to get more of those. So that is the map. So you can see there's a couple of things going on. And as like any other, uh, train station 2 event as you as you progress i'm sure more things will get built you can see here these are where the trains teleport so let's go back here to the main map um, as you can see there's new factories down here there's the one that you get for free and the one that if you pay money for you get and here you can make stuff um, i can't actually make anything yet because i don't have the raw materials so that is again a little different than a normal uh, train station 2 event while I'm here, I'm going to uh, get some more of these uh, shirts and books and start shipping them so that I can uh, get things rolling while I'm talking. So I uh, hope oh, those take an hour, so I guess I'm going to have to wait. So there, that's, uh, they're satisfied and I just have to wait on those. So let's have a look at the um, what you get here. So this is the event competition. So you can see uh, we're competing for EPs and we get uh, these uh, uh, octagonal, one, two, three, six-sided, sorry, not eight-sided, um, uh, event coins and, uh, and unlock a person if you get first. So that's uh, typical for an event where you the higher you rank, the more event coins you get. And let's see what those event coins get you in the shop. So uh, help Dr. Cyberhoff, Leela, and Joe 11 to build a futuristic city. So there's the typical rewards track, uh, including an event pass. So for me, that's $20 Canadian. You get a special train and a whole bunch of, of uh, extra co train containers and parts and gems and, so, and maps and so on. So across the bottom, you have the your rewards track uh, where you get a bunch of engine parts and city plans and gems and containers and on the top if you pay the for the event reward uh, you get um, all the extra stuff on the top and you don't have to watch ads to double the stuff on the bottom so that is pretty typical of an event now let's look at the shop so the top ones you have to use event coins which you only get from competitions and these ones uh, you get the locomotive, uh, the big box and coins as usual. The locomotive is a Polestar, which is a futuristic looking steam engine. 
pretty uh, interesting. And uh, here are the ones that you get, you spend uh, with, uh, I don't know what these things are called, but they, they kind of look like uh, uh, a uh, pregnancy test, but uh, I'm sure that's not what they are. Uh, so you get uh, this DLR NGT, very fancy looking electric train. Uh, here you've got the Cargon Heavy. Um, now it shows here that's in Japan. That's, all, that's where I'm going to get it. Whatever your latest region is, is where it will show up for you. Um, so that is uh, pretty nice, nice diesel. And here we have a, another diesel. It's interesting how the, the cab looks very futuristic. I do like I do like the look of these. And then here we've got another electric, electric, a Pixel Federation electric, which is kind of cool. And then uh, you get you can get one building, a green skyscraper, and then the usual engine parts and keys, which you should only get keys if you're if you're uh, just got a few leftover things here to uh, to spend. So what are these things called? Uh, future keys. That's what they are. I should I should have known that. So they're future keys. They're definitely not birth control devices. So uh, that's the event. Um, so uh, it's a little different in that you have you can't start collecting raw materials until you do these jobs first. So that's uh, the event jobs first. So that is a little different. Otherwise, it's it looks like a, a pretty normal Pixel Federation event. I'm looking forward to seeing trains teleport. That'll be different and interesting. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the event. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun playing it. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe as usual. And uh, 